Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is now called Daniel's Very Random YouTube Channel. Why? Because it's completely random and there is a uh, never ending supply of variation in the topics covered. I may change name, but I figured rather than I'm currently trying to split up this YouTube channel into like sub channels, but I figured that because that process is going to take a bit of time and thinking in the meantime, I'll just embrace the complete randomness of this channel. So what I want to show you guys today, this I think might be useful for anyone who's tapering a medication. Um, and it's using an app called MetaSafe, and this is sort of my methodology that I've developed. MetaSafe is an incredible app. I really can't recommend this app enough to anyone taking medications. It's available both for Android and for iOS if you have an iPhone or whatever. Um, this medication has saved me from double dosing, missing doses, everything. And I also really recommend using a pill counter and using the two in parallel because if you use both a pill physical pill counter and metasafe you've got yourself like kind of a checks and balances system going on um it's always and it's always good to have a backup okay here's my method so if you are taking a medication that you need to taper on or taper off and the one that comes to mind classically is psychiatric meds then here's the method i've used now this isn't like something that uh, metasafe endorse or it's not really the like sort of intended functionality it's more my workaround if you will and just over the course I've been using this app for many years, I've developed a few workarounds. One of them I'm going to show quickly as well, just to veer off topic for a second. I created a medication called All Meds when I don't have time to individually, you know, enter each med I take. I take about three medications, three medications. Wow, I feel old. Okay, here's the method. So I'm going to jump down to Lexapro, also called uh, Escitalopram, also called Ciprolex, which is what I'm currently taking off. You can see I even played around with having like a beer in my list so I could just really track if I was maybe taking medication that might interfere with it. Now what I've done is for Escitalopram for Lexapro. I've created separate medications for each different dose as I'm tapering off it, right? So I've created Escitalopram 20, Escitalopram 17.5, Escitalopram 15, 10. There should be 12.5 somewhere here. If there isn't, I've made a mistake. Yep, five. I have them all. Now, what's this got to do with tapering? So when you go into medication, let's say you want to go into your Escitalopram 20, click on the pencil icon, and you're going to be able to change the medication. Now, if you've set up a daily dosing time, you probably know this. Here is the hack in inverted commas. You want to go on to your reminder times and you want to click on the activate icon. Then you get schedule. I'm going to undo reminder time and you, you can see schedule disappears. I'm not sure this is the greatest design, but this is what they've done. This is how they've done it. So when you click into schedule, this is like set up for daily dosing, right? At 10 o'clock, 10 p.m., I take one pill, I can set up an alarm, I can set up a notification, blah, blah, blah. Now, today is the, I think, no, it's the 31st of December. But what you can do for a taper is set your medication for number of days now, what my doctor told me to do, I'm coming off 20 milligrams, is to go down in five milligram dosages every week. So what you can do is set six days at each dose. Start date, right? So let's just say for argument's sake, I was starting my taper on tomorrow, on the 1st of January, 2023. So what I'm going to do is start my dosing. Sorry about the... Uh, Ambulances, sirens, probably quite audible in the background here. So I'm going to start on the 1st of January and for six days tomorrow, I'm going to be holding on 20 and I'm going to save this. Then let's say I'm jumping right down to 15. So I'm going to go and edit. I'm going to go for, again, reminder time, again, schedule. And I'm going to say number of days again is going to be six to stay on that dosage for a week. And my start date's going to be, I'm going to, you just have to click on it to get into it. So I'm going to start my 20 milligrams on the 1st of January, six days. So 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And on the 7th, I'm going to pop down to 15. Now, I'm just going to jump into my homepage here and I'm going to skip forward to tomorrow. Okay. So ignore the fact I have my 10 milligram because this is just what I'm actually taking and this is a demo, right? So we're going to have 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five six, and on Friday the sixth of January we have our twenty milligrams, and then on the seventh of January we have fifteen, and so on and so forth. So this is how you can uh, sort of manage a taper using MetaSafe. Don't try to keep stuff in your head; it's really dangerous. Uh, this is, and this all backs up to the cloud. So if you lose your phone or whatever. It shouldn't be the end of the world. To reiterate, basically, my methodology or my hack, I create separate medication entries for each medication according to the dosages I'm using on the taper. I go into each dosage and then I configure a reminder for each med and then do it for however quickly I'm tapering. Uh, do this in coordination with your doctor. That is super, super important. Never quit a psychiatric med cold turkey without your doctor's instructions. And if they do advise it, it's probably a bad idea anyway. It's a really bad idea. Tapering is the way to go. And something like this can make it like much easier and just prevent you from missing it. Hope that was useful. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to get more completely random videos, subscribe.